Developing Tactics for Listening, 3rd Edition, by Jack C. Richards. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2011. CD 2. Unit 9. Jobs. Page 34. Track 2. Listening 1. 1. So you're a teacher, is that right? Yep. Do you enjoy teaching? Yes, I do. The vacations are great, but I've got a really difficult class this year. I try everything, but they just don't want to learn anything. Maybe it's the way I teach. 2. So, how long have you been a flight attendant? For nearly 10 years. Do you like flying? Actually, I do. I love it, and I meet lots of interesting passengers. The only thing I don't like is staying in hotels all the time. I miss home cooking. 3. So, you're an architect. That must be interesting. Yes, it is. Right now, we're in the middle of a big project. We're designing a new hotel. Uh-huh. The only trouble is, the woman I work with and I have completely different ideas of what it should look like. Is that going to be a problem? I hope not. You see, I'm her boss. Four. So, you work in an auto shop? That's right. Bob's Auto, on Ford Street. Do you know it? Yeah, I think so. Do you enjoy working on cars? Yeah, I really do. I love anything mechanical. The only trouble is the shop's about an hour from my house. An hour? So what do you do? Drive? Sometimes. Sometimes I take the bus. The commute's the worst part. But the money's good. It kind of makes up for it. 5. Where do you work, Rachel? In a bookstore. Oh, do you like it there? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh-huh. But the boss is a bit strange, not at all friendly, and he's got a terrible temper. Oh. Six. So what do you do, Mike? I'm a hairdresser. Oh, what's it like? Well, I love my customers. Some of them are so friendly, but it's tiring work. I work long hours, and I'm on my feet all day. Yeah, that must be tiring. Page 35, track 3, listening 2. 1. So where do you work now, Megan? I'm working at a new cafe downtown. Hey, that's kind of interesting. Are you the manager or something? Oh, yeah, right. Actually, I do all the baking. Oh, how long have you been baking? Well, only for three weeks. But I'm learning real fast. Two. Where do you work, Tim? At a hotel. I'm with the Grand City Towers. Oh, yeah? Do you like it? It's pretty good. I get to meet some really interesting people. Oh, are you the manager? Well, not yet. I'm still carrying bags. But I'm sure I'll be manager before long. Three. So, you work for a TV producer. That must be interesting work. It's okay. And what kind of work do you do? Well, I'm on the road a lot. Oh, yeah? A kind of personal assistant? Well, not quite. I drive her to work every day. Four. So, you work in an office? That's right. How do you like it? Well, it's pretty boring. Oh, yeah? What do you do there? Oh, I schedule appointments, answer the phone, that sort of thing. And it really doesn't pay much. So why do you stay there? I like my co-workers. Five. Where do you work? I work for an online newspaper. Really? Yeah, I write about sports. Have you read any of my stories? Maybe. Say, what's your name again? Ted Grant. The Ted Grant? Can I have your autograph? 6. 
Are you still working in a restaurant on the weekend? That's right. But I'm not working in the cash register anymore. Oh? Yeah. Now I'm working as a server. Lucky you. Page 36. Track 4. Listening 3. 1. I work for a market research company. We do research for companies that are planning to develop new products. I call people and ask them questions about products they are using now. Sometimes, I invite people to come to meetings. We discuss plans for new products with them. It's pretty interesting work. I've been doing it for nearly 15 years now, and I've got no plans to change jobs. The thing I really like about my job is that each month I'm working on something completely different, so it never gets boring. 2. I have my own design company. It's very small, just me and two assistants. I design brochures, advertisements for magazines, menus, and things like that. It's a very creative job. I started the company just two years ago, just after I graduated from design school. Things have gone pretty well for me. I have two big clients, and most of my work is for them. Sometimes I have to work very late at night if I have a big job to finish quickly. I always have plenty of work to do, and I am always busy. 3. I've had my own restaurant for 10 years. When I first bought this place, I thought it would be easy to run, but it's very hard work. I work long hours, sometimes we're very busy, and sometimes we're very slow. We usually have a lot of customers on the weekends. During the week, it's sometimes quiet. I never have a day off because there are always so many things to do. I don't do any of the cooking myself. I have three very good chefs to do that. Owning a restaurant is a tough job, but I love it. I don't want to do anything else. 4. I'm a flight attendant. Many people think it's a boring job, but I love it. I get to travel all over the world, and I meet lots of interesting people. I like that. The job is pretty easy, really. We don't work nonstop for the whole flight. We have plenty of time to sit down and take a break. On long flights, we can even take a nap. Also, the money is very good because all our expenses are paid when we're working. Page 37, track 5, pronunciation. 1. Do you like it there? Is it fun? 2. Do you enjoy teaching? Is it interesting? 3. Do you work in an office? Is it a full-time job? Page 37, track 6, Dictation. So, what do you do? I'm a flight attendant. That sounds interesting. Do you fly overseas a lot? Yes. I've been to over 30 countries. How about you? What do you do? I am a manager in a restaurant. Do you work on the weekends? No, I travel on weekends. It's a great job.